What's the most challenging aspect of working in Hollywood? Is it dealing with temperamental celebrities, or is it the brutal competition that drives many to seek fame? It may be the long hours, gruelling schedule, or low pay, all of which can deter stars from staying in Tinseltown. Regardless of the difficulties, many might believe that the rewards are equally as sweet. Today, we're going to unleash the hidden truth of Hollywood. An illegal substance may sometimes be necessary for an actor or actress to deliver their best performance. Many A-list celebrities have reportedly said that Tinseltown provides them with an endless supply of their preferred vice. Dennis Quaid, a legendary actor, admitted he had a casual cocaine addiction before he rose to fame. He occasionally experimented with the drug when he arrived in Los Angeles in 1974. Still, things didn't spiral out of hand until he was cast in commercially successful movies. Additionally, he disclosed that to conceal the drug-fueled sets, cocaine was disguised as petty cash and included in movie budgets. He asserted that the medication was readily distributed on film shoots since it was normal and something everyone had been going through. His cocaine addiction was one of the biggest mistakes when he looked back on it. The actor claimed that his entire life fell apart due to his drug addiction. Even Jack Nicholson has been open about using drugs in the past. He claimed in an interview from 1980 that using drugs wasn't a huge deal, and that he still enjoyed doing so about four days a week. Some celebrities have eating disorders due to the pressure to be thin and attractive. They are constantly scrutinised since they're in the spotlight. In addition to being judged by their followers and the general public, they may face pressure from their agents and managers to lose weight unhealthily. When Demi Lovato was two or three years old, she recalled looking at her stomach and pondering whether it would ever be flat. She battled an eating disorder as she grew older and would relapse after difficult times in her life. She binged and purged because she missed Wilma Valderrama after they broke up. Actress Naomi Watts also admitted that she starved herself when going to the red carpet. And model Ashley Graham said an agent had shown her $20 in bills and told her if she lost weight, she could make way more money than this. For many years, sexual harassment and exchanging sexual favours for money were relatively common in Hollywood. Many just saw the casting couch, in which actors engaged in sexual practices with producers or directors to land gigs, as an unpleasant aspect of the industry. If you're invited to a party at the Four Seasons with this director, don't go, some actresses have said in public. However, many individuals, inside and outside the profession, didn't see these remarks for what they really were, mentions of sexual crime. Few dared to speak up about the abuses they experienced because harassment in Hollywood was an open secret among those working in the field. One of these players, Corey Haim, accused several well-known actors, directors and producers of abusing young actors in Hollywood. Haim's 2014 film Open Secret, which examined his experiences and those of his classmates, was centred on those topics. Before the hashtag MeToo movement's emergence, the actor's claims were mainly disregarded. Still, then many people began to take his claims more seriously. According to Haim's statements, the abusers were all adults, and most victims were minors. It's crucial to remember that a youngster cannot legally consent to an act or agree to exchange a sexual favour for a role in a film. In contrast to workplace harassment, sexual abuse of a minor is frequently considered a severe offence. The ubiquity of exchanging sexual favours for movie roles was confirmed by later allegations against well-known Hollywood actors and actresses. Numerous of these allegations said that after inviting them to a hotel room or suite to discuss their careers, directors and producers would either demand sexual favours from the actors or physically assault them. In an interview with BBC, Emma Thompson expressed her hope that the Harvey Weinstein story would show that sexual assault is endemic in society and the entertainment industry, stating she spent her 20s trying to keep old men's tongues out of her neck. Jennifer Lawrence demonstrated how accurate Thompson was at Elle's Women in Hollywood event in Beverly Hills on Monday night when she shared her account of sexual assault and abuse at a young age. Lawrence, who at the age of 20 garnered an Oscar nomination for her debut film Winter's Bone, recalled being forced to participate in a naked lineup as a youngster where she and a bunch of other much, much thinner women stood side by side with only paste-ons covering their privates. After that demeaning and humiliating lineup, the female producer advised Lawrence to use naked pictures of herself to inspire her diet. Lawrence claimed that things only got worse from there. These were some obnoxious hidden rules being practiced in Hollywood. 
Unfortunately, the newfound fame for actors doesn't last long as they enter a world with drugs and unhealthy routines. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching.